Thank you for joining me on this introductory video to the brand new Honda ENY1, a fantastic looking car, I'm sure you'll agree. Here we're going to focus on elements you can see from the front of the car, so let's get going. If I start on the, uh, the side here, we can already see that the daytime running lights are illuminated on this car and they're LED. Not only that, but the uh, headlights and also the fog lights are also LED, so really good vision, but as you would expect, they're going to be saving energy as well. We've got the camera at the top and the sensors at the bottom, which are looking for the information around the car, the painted lines, the cars in front of you as well, to actually make your driving experience safer and more comfortable. So when you're on a motorway, you put less steering input in, which keeps you fresher for longer. And sensing is standard on both versions of the ENY1. Moving further in, you'll notice that the front is really smooth. That's a really nice design feature. It also makes it nice and slippery through the air, but hidden behind that is where we charge this car up. So you will notice we have our AC charging at the top. So if you have charging at home, or maybe you're doing the supermarket run, or you're off to the gym, just plug it in there and top the car up. If you're on a bigger run and you're at motorway services, you can use the uh, like 100 kilowatt uh, rapid charger. And then of course, when charging's complete, see a little light there just to keep it illuminated for you as well. So you can find those points. When it's all charged, pop that down. You'll also know when it's charged because we've got the connectivity on the My Honda Plus app that'll tell you your state of charge. And you get these two fantastic lights right at the top, giving you signals as to when it's connected, when it's charging and when it's charged. Now, in between those two lights, there's another camera. So this particular vehicle has multi-view camera on it. So there's a central ma uh, mounted camera. We have them under the door mirrors and one at the back as well. That's to give you a really good all round uh, visual when you're parking. If you don't wanna be bothered with parking yourself, it can park itself. We have Honda's parking pilot. Press of a couple of buttons, the car can identify uh, where the spaces are between parked cars, or even just looking at bay lines on the, on the floor, and it can park for you. It can even get you out of some of those spots as well. A brilliant feature. Now, as we move a little bit further around to, uh, to the side, we'll notice that we've got 18 inch wheels. This is a fantastic uh, balance between style and also the efficiency you need to get uh, great performance out of the car. So we know we've got uh, good range. So in excess of 250 mile range, which is fantastic when you consider that the average daily mileage in the UK is eight miles. And in fact, 68% of journeys in the UK are less than five miles. So absolutely perfect while we talk about the, uh, the the power plant on this car the the motor is right up front so we've got front wheel drive and we've got 204 ps of power with 310 newton meters of torque and that's enough to get you from zero to 62 uh, miles an hour in just 7.6 seconds that sounds like good fun to me so again big part of that are the the choice of the 18 inch wheels there making that perfect balance and in the center, we've got our white H. You may have noticed that up front, slightly different badging on this to other Hondas. So for the ENY1, black background, white Honda badge, and we'll show you some more as we make our way around. Now, when it comes to driving, the visibility, of course, is going to be great out of the front. We've got big door mirrors that are going to help us have that rear uh, visibility as well. And we've moved them further back than you would traditionally have them on a car so that the driver or the passenger has got really good field of vision through and past the, um, the door mirror. Again, just making the whole experience much, much nicer. Now, when it comes to opening the front door, it opens really wide. So access is really easy to get in and outside of the car. And this is my first glimpse at the ambient lighting that's inside. I'll show you more about the interior a little bit later. Then in the back, it's the same story. 
nice wide opening door and I can see that I've got a flat floor in the back there and I've got my USB connectors and it's a really, really comfortable place to be. Now, let's take a look at the back of the car. Now we're at the back of the car, I think it's quite obvious where we've got to start. The really impressive full width LED light bar. So you are going to be really easily recognised on the road and hopefully safer as well. You can't miss that, can you? Then if we look at the tailgate itself, at the top we've got this spoiler with the, the side sections here to help the air leave the vehicle more efficiently, making you more efficient at driving through the air. Then as we move through, we've got the tinted privacy glass on the, the rear window. And you may notice we've got the word Honda there rather than the Honda badge that we had at the front. Another little bit of a, a twist on design that we've got with the ENY1. And as we mentioned on the front and the side, we've got these black and white detailings in the actual badges themselves. Underneath, we've got more sensors and they help with the, the rear safety systems as well as parking on the ENY1. And talking of parking, we have our rear view camera here that completes that multi-view picture. Now, if we open the power tailgate, I can do it off my key or I can do it just by pressing that button. That's going to reveal for us a up to 361 litre boot, which is mighty impressive. Now, most of the time, 99 times out of 100, I would suggest you're never going to need to remove this tonneau cover because it moves with the tailgate itself. But if you do, it just clips off nice and easily to give you a bit more headroom. But in this position, you've got lots of space, easy to get stuff in and out. And if you need a bit more height, just pop that flat floor down even lower. You may prefer it in the easy load position or more depth. The choice is yours. Now, when it comes to closing the tailgate, there are two options. So there are two buttons here. On the right-hand side is the walk-away close. So as long as I've got the key in my pocket, I can just wander off and it won't start closing until I'm out of the detection zone. Or I've got the more regular one where I can press the button and it will automatically start to lower. So now that's nicely closed, the final thing to talk about at the back of the car is the fact that if you want to carry a, a bike on a, a tow bar type of bracket, you can do that, you can have that fitted as an accessory. So let's go and look at the interior. So now we're inside, the first thing that really strikes me is, typically Honda, it feels fantastic. The driving position is just great. We've got these synthetic leather seats. So again, they're gonna be hard wearing, easy to look after, and most importantly, as I say, they're really comfortable. Straight in front of me, steering wheel is a good size, actually. It feels nice and, and sporty, actually, with all the controls that you'd expect, easy to reach by your thumbs, whether that's volume for the stereo, whether it's the, uh, the home button to scroll through information on the left-hand side of the driver's display, that's TFT all the way across, or some of your sensing features on the right hand side like adaptive cruise control, your lane keeping assist, and this one also has a heated steering wheel as well, which is rather nice. Now behind this wheel, there are two paddles. These are for regenerative braking. So this controls how much the car slows down when you take your foot off the accelerator. So again, it's just, it's geared up really, really nicely. I've also got my ambient lighting through here, and just above that, I've got my um, air diffusion system and that's designed to keep folks in the back at a really good temperature as well. So I've got my vents, my passengers got their vents, and then the air diffusion system to keep everybody in the back at a nice temperature. Now, probably the first thing you've noticed is this big central uh, information screen here. This is really impressive. It's split into three sections with the top section having the information you're going to want to look at the most. And then second section is some of the, the, the adjustments and selecting different features. And at the bottom, we've got our heating controls. Moving down from the central screen, we have our wireless charger. Now to the right of that, we have a traditional 12 volt power source, and we also have two USBs as well. Then we have our controls for going through park, reverse, neutral, and drive, all pretty traditional. We've got our drive modes, really cool at the moment, you get it more sporty if you wish. Uh, parking brake, it's got brake hold as well. So again, nice little feature, it means you don't have to be having your foot on the foot brake while you're at the traffic lights. And then this is a new feature we've got. This is really, really good. We've got Honda's parking pilot. So pressing that button and following the, uh, the instructions on screen is going to help the car park itself for you. So that's looking all the way through there, back to my straight ahead view. And actually, 
I've just noticed that we've got a panoramic roof in this one. So we've got great visibility uh, from in front of us, but we've got great light coming through from above us as well. Thank you for taking this little tour around the car with me and I really hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, if you'd like to know more, you can contact your local Honda retailer and they'll be delighted to give you more information that you require. Thank you very much for watching.